Hello and welcome to the Rising Heritage channel, your channel for bullion stacking, semi-numismatic collecting, and general numismatic news. I'm your host, Rising Heritage, and today I have something different for you. Well, it's probably best just to show you. Let's get into it. Today we're going to see exactly how much 24 karat gold is in Gold Schlager. <laughs> So first, I went to the Goldschlager website to see if they posted anything about the gold content that is inside of their beverage. Uh, very wisely, they did not. So I then went to the YouTube page, and right here I highlighted it. It shows the actual amount of gold has been measured at approximately 13 milligrams or 0.2 grams in a one liter bottle of gold schlager so now i'm over at coinapps.com and here you can measure the value of a gram of gold so uh, one gram of gold is right now 53 dollars in 51 or 52 cents uh, with that uh, thousands place over there they are saying that Goldschlager is 0.2 grams. So they're saying there's $10, $10.70 worth of gold inside a bottle of Goldschlager um, as per, uh, uh, well, today's date. Uh, that would be November 2nd, 2022. Uh, that is what a gold price of $16.64.50 per troy ounce. And stay tuned for uh, the amount of gold that we have in our measurements. So the first thing I had to do was flip this bottle around. And then I needed a glass in order to hold it up so that the flakes could drain down to the bottom. And this is what that looked like. Yeah, it's really beautiful flakes coming down there. This took an exceptionally long time. Five minutes later. So this video is actually right after um, that last video. But it did end up taking a very long time. Um, oh, that's a beautiful flake coming down right there. Um, it actually took a day because everything kept getting caught. 24 hours later, everything kept getting caught in uh, the rounded edge just before the neck. So I had to keep repositioning it in order to get the flakes to come down into the cap. Okay, so all of the gold has settled down to the bottom cap. So no gold slogger was harmed in the filming of this video. It shall be saved um, what is not uh, used. All right, so now I have a coffee filter inside of a small bowl, and I'm just going to pour the gold flakes into that coffee filter. And I've got a bowl sitting nearby in case there's any spill over. Oh. So there's already a tiny little gold flake just from cracking this bottle open. Oh, that is a lot. Okay. 
And that is where our war gloves. So let me see if I can get that off. So as you may be able to see, three little flakes escaped back into the bottle. Now, I, I've got it turned back upside down and I'm going to pour myself a glass and that's how we're going to get rid of that. I'll pick those out. Here is a view of the gold flakes. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Oh, yeah. Okay, here is an image of the new scale I bought. I wanted to have a scale that measured to three places past the decimal, that you know, the thousandths, so I can more accurately measure grams. And what we're looking at here is a 50 gram weight that is setting on the scale. So you can see it's, it's off by just a little bit, uh, 0 0.021. Uh, to be exact, uh, grams to be exact, that it's off from this weight. And let me go ahead to the next. And I took the weight off and it did go, it returned back to zero. I've had problems with scales in the past. When you take a weight off, it, it would go to negative point something and it, it wouldn't zero back correctly. So I like this scale because it's uh, it's doing that correctly. And I think 50 grams is the max. If it goes over 50 grams, it'll error out. All right, so then I put the weight back on just to see if, uh, you know, I'd get the, exactly the same weight. And so we have a difference of about uh, 0 .003. Uh, I think it was a 9 before. Yeah, uh, 49 Point nine seven nine it was before so that's a difference of point zero zero three grams uh, when I reweighed that 50 gram weight okay so then I finally put on uh, the gold uh, I got that into a little capsule and I weighed the total there and we came up with 5.192. Now, I weighed everything at least twice. I don't have the second picture of where I weighed this, but it came out the same. And here is the empty weight where I am weighing uh, these uh, capsules. And I got 5.180. Again, I took that off and it zeroed out. I put it back on and I got the same weight, 5.180 grams. So as per the end of this video, the measurements that we got is for the tube full of gold, 5.192 grams and an empty tube would be 5.180, a difference of 0 0.012 grams. So that comes out to 0 0.012, 64 cents worth of gold inside a bottle of gold schlager. That's a lot different from the $10 at 0.2. So is this a, a change? Is this shrinkflation that we're talking about? Or did I just get a bum bottle of Goldschlager? If this video does well with the YouTube algorithm, I think my next video will be to take the gold flakes from this video and buy a crucible, uh, no, not a crucible, a cupel, and uh, melt the gold flakes into a tiny bead. That sounds fun to me uh, because it involves fire. So if that sounds good to you, please help the channel out by subscribing if you are not already. And if you'd like more videos like this, please also like, comment, and share the video. This is Rising Heritage saying, keep an engaged focus on improving your financial horizons, and may the sun never set on your heritage.